and welcome back to day four of the National Rugby 15s Division 1 at Kid University Campus, Bhuvaneshwar, Orissa. Game two of day four between Orissa and Ram Marathas. This is the first of the cup semi-finals in the women's category. Orissa coming in strong as her, the first ranked team from the previous edition and starting their campaign with their first match today straight into the semi-finals. The starting lineup, we see some of the more known names in the Indian rugby community with Sanjukta, Soni, Sumitra, Manjulata, ba Basanit, Sabita, Reena, Malin, Ranjita, Poonam, Jamami, Lija, Tilothma, Hupi, and Mirar Mirarani. And in opposition, the Ram Marathas starting 15 is Purnima, Mansi, Diksha, Sonali, Gaudi, Akshita, Kanish Kanishka, Pallavi, Pooja, Neha Pardesi, Payal, Sa Sara, Nita, Vajala, and Priyanka. Both teams ready. Two very experienced sides facing each other in the first cup semi-finals of the National Rugby 15's Division 1. And referee for this high intensity match, Mark, a friend from France. Possession begins. The Odisha Rugby Football Club. And they can be dangerous right in the f from the start if you don't close in the gaps. And like that, still in field of play. Maharashtra not releasing and that has awarded a penalty in favor of Orissa. It's always a delight to see the Orissa team play as they work like a well-oiled machine. They are famously known for training throughout the year and that always shows on the field. Rock straight from the line out. Playing in blind, the forward pack is ready. Neha Pardeshi with a big hit. Maratha get, Ram Marathas gets possession the first time in this match. And they're definitely not looking at letting it go. And with that penalty and a quick start. Decepted. Turnover for Odisha. It's almost like they positioned themselves to intercept that ball and nicely done gaining that possession again and once again dominating the game. Quick pass. Right wing is empty. Using their speed and strength. Slipped. There was enough, enough space. Defense would take some few seconds to reach. It's yeah. also their first match for this tournament for Rissa as they got their bye into the semi finals. I think somewhere the team is still getting into the groove <laughs> in the formations and gameplay. And we'll surely soon see 
them taking advantage of all the space that the defense is giving them on the extremes of the field. That's a high tackle for sure. Advantage played by Odisha. And there she goes. Finally. And through. And that's the first try in the very first few minutes of this game. Not given their judgment. Five points for Orisha Rugby Football Club, Ram Marathas nil. First semi-finals of the Division 115's Rugby Championship brought to you by the Government of Orisha, the KIIT University, Cap Gemini, Fasten Up, Wintex, Exports, the ABTP, and Fancode, your favorite sports entertainment app. Flag is up, that's in seven points for Odisha. Opening up strong. This team never fails to impress us. It's amazing to see the body language with which they walk onto the field. It definitely is always intimidating for their opposition. But we have seen Ram Maratha taking their opposition on without any fear. And I'm sure we'll sh soon see them convert and their strong hits turn into a try. Orisha again with the ball. Time to reload from the wing. Forwards doing the job. Slow and steady, they advance. And quick tap, taking advantage of the opposition on the offside. Ball went, ball went backwards, completely fine. And number 17 creating the gap. Known for their speed, Orissa also showing some great strength in this game of 15s with some big hits. And once again, they're off with a quick start. And turn over to Maharashtra. And they kick it out to touch. Didn't travel far, but uh, Ram Marathas still keep possession of the ball. As you said, they train around the clock all year, the Odisha Rugby Football Club. The rucks are clean, the backs know where to stand. The scrum half has enough space in his head, her head, to run the game smoothly. And that's what we want. A cool, calm-headed scrum half, and the game goes smooth. 
and beating that defense, bringing in that ball. Orissa almost playing the entire game in Ram Maratha's half. Mark calls in number one. Sinbind team into their half. Dangerous, dangerous situation for the Ram Marathas. Again, not even 10 minutes. A second try awaits for them. Team on the line. This is the best sight to watch. My favorite phase of play. The team is just close to the try line. Everybody on their knees. And there she goes. Easy. Too easy for Risa. Breaking defense very smoothly and that's their second try. Gliding away. That's Orisha Rugby for you. That's quite a difficult convertible angle but no doubt about the succession rate of this kicker. Marissa has already been dominating on the gameplay as well as on the scoreboard. So it looks like what they're really looking at doing is increasing that difference as soon as they can, just increasing the pressure on Ram Marathas. And we just saw a couple of minutes ago them going from 15 to 4. So definitely there's a lot more pressure on Ram Marathas to convert and get ensure they can be on the winning side of things on this game. Well, that's in. Dominating in their own home ground, Odisha Rugby. And now the scores are Orissa Rugby 14 and Ram nil. Support reaches in time, an offload. Well, that's quite a few yards. The back line is set. She sweeps in. Small creak she saw into the line. And now she's moving like a ballerina here and there. No one to catch her. Magician. Beating them too easily. Almost. That was too easy for her, Amishi. Home ground. It's play like that almost puts you at a loss of words. A calm headed scrum off. Everybody knows what to do. Practice enough, enough to beat the mighty Ram Marathas. And you never know. When they come back. Can be they are assessing their game. So in time, they come back stronger. And with 15 self, there's always time in your hand, right? So you're not running to make sure that you're matching up to the scores. So it's always better to take that time and assess the situation and change gameplay to the situation. And another conversion by Orissa. They're now 21 and Ram, Ram at zero.
12 minutes in. Opposite to that, 21 score. Odisha Rugby Football Club. Ram Marathas nil. Knock on. Scrum down. Orange ball. When playing with such an experienced and organized team, and they always are preceded by their game, right? So it's important that we keep possession of the ball, especially for the opposition, because you end up defending most of the time. So every possession that comes in becomes even more important in this case. And I guess that's what Ram needs to remember. Because till the ball isn't in your hand, we cannot convert that into a try. Very dangerous keeping the ball so open. But clearly Maratha has finally used their strength almost bringing the entire team together to gain 10 meters. Now being pushed back. And Mark calls in. Running in the penalty, Ram Marathas. All the team have sucked into the right corner. They've decided to go all in. Unfortunately, the second time around, it did not work for Amarathas and them collapsing has caused a scrum down with ball in favor of Furissa. So you need 30 players under the field for to match the Orisha's power, I guess. Still playing with one player less. Ram Marathas do not seem like they're backing down. And this is a clear representation of how badly the team wants to be in the finals of the cup. The entire team coming together to push through and get their first score. Another offload to the wing. She got space. That's a knock on for sure. Playing advantage. First knock on, second knock on, scrum down in the favor of Ram Marathas. And penalty in favor of Orissa, trying to take advantage of that, but call back to start from the mark.
16 minutes 40 seconds in 21 for Orisha Ramarathas nil. The twin tower tackle that is. It takes some time to get up from the field. And there she goes, number 14 again. Oh, some Beautiful <laughs> pass to the wing. And some great movements with Orissa. It's not only the footwork, but some great handwork as well. Neha Pardesi trying to use her experience, but unfortunately sent back 10 meters. Oh, charging through Orissa. It takes almost an entire team to stop one member from Orissa. Must just pass the ball to the backs. The whole defense is on the left side of the pitch. And Ashfaq and Mark in conversation. Some infringement there. Holding on for their decision. Another try for Odisha Rugby Football Club. No conversions missed yet from this player. A piece of cake for her. Missed by a whisker. You spoke too soon, Sev. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only person jinxing players from the commentary box. <coughs> 19 minutes, 40 seconds in. 26 for Orisha. Ramarat Hazanil. And once again, it's almost like we're watching the highlights of the match. And the local team has got their support come in. We can see some massive cheering. And definitely the team is living up to all the cheering and all the love that the crowd is giving out to them.
plate winners for our Marathas into the semis. And looking a little bit off color, 31 points onto the Odisha Rugby Football Club sport. Another drives by the forward pack with 10 meters advantage. This looks dangerous. And kicked out of that danger zone. The ball comes in possession of Ramaratas. Quickly turning around to move forward and pull down into a tackle. And ball lost. And back. Advantage played by Odisha. Sent back 10 meters. As brutal this sport looks like, you must play by the rules. Number 14 with the ball again. There's another one. Another five points for the Orisha Football Club. And the crowd erupts in cheer. It was almost uh, surprising to not see this crowd at the beginning of this game. But looks like they were in a little bit of an afternoon snooze and they're now back here to support their local team. We saw this crowd come in yesterday when the local KISS team was playing in the boys version. And now to have them back here to support the Orissa team as they play their semi-finals is quite heartwarming. The grey clouds have arrived and it's raining tries on to Ram Marathas. Unfortunately, missing this conversion, probably too many conversions. Orissa definitely looking and making a dominant entry into the next round of this tournament. With four minutes still left on the clock, Orissa at 36 and Ram Marathas yet to open their score. In hands, safe and secure, Odisha team advances. And pushed her back.
we can clearly see how supportive the entire team is. Misses by one are covered up easily by the next player. And knock on. And that's another scrum down. I think this is one of the few matches that we've seen in the last four days where the domination from one team has clearly seen very, very less scrummages and line outs. Ram Maratra are also a very well crafted team. I mean, they've earned their spot into, into this tournament. They were the plate winners of the pre previous tournament, but as you can see, one team has worked really harder for the cup. Ten meters advantage. Not something Ram Marathas would want. <coughs> One minute left into this game. Thirty-six for Odisha. A big, big mountain to climb for Ram Marathas. This will probably be the last move in the first half. And the ball possession stays with Orissa. Quickly passing it out, trying to see if they can convert this into something special just before we move into halftime. And there goes the horn. Last play. I'm planning to bag five more points. Team Odisha, ever hungry, never satisfied. Ball went backwards, completely fine. He's trying to produce one more before we go. One for the road. Picking up quickly from the rock. Enough support. Just commit and pass. The hand went to the neck. Look like from this, this angle. Let's see what the ref has to say. In advantage. Ditch. And that's it. And that's a try. Five more points. Putting up a great show for their fans. Orissa team, we'll, sh we'll wait for the last conversion. It's over the first half. 41 for Risha. Ramarat has nil. 
Stay tuned. Another action packed half left. Let's see what Ram Marathas have for us in their box of treats.
and we're back for the second half of the first semi-finals in the women's category of the National Rugby 15s Division 1. Brought to you by Orissa Government, Kitty University, Cap Gemini, Fasten Up, Vintex Export, ABTB, and our broadcasting partners, Fancode. Orissa have clearly dominated the first half, but I'm sure the second half, in this halftime, the Ram Marathas coach will be motivating, pepping them up, learning from the experiences of the first half, trying to change their strategy and gameplay, and come back as more stronger for the second half. Both teams line up. Ram Maratha is ready to receive the kick. And with time on, we start the second half. Starting the second half with Orissa at 43 and Ram Marathas at 0. Maratha trying to keep possessions. Unfortunately, that's a turnover. And Orissa leading ahead. And a knock-on by Orissa. And we are into the first scrum for the second half. And ball out, and unfortunately, losing the ball possession, Orissa cleanly taking it out of Maharashtra's hands and turning around the game quickly back into their control. Second half, just two minutes in, 43 for Orisha, Ram, nil. Quality of, and that's another one. Talking about quality, this team is filled with it. And look at Shinu. Again here to pump up his team. The number one fam of Odisha Rugby Football Club. Forty-eight for Arisha. Time for a conversion kick. Measuring. Forty-eight. 
Retaining 48 points. Odisha advances. Bringing it back for a kickoff. Forty-eight nil is not the score line that you see against Ram Marathas, but definitely Odisha has studied, calculated, and like is executing their game with no errors, and that's Boomfa, certified textbook into the Hall of Fame straight. Ever wondered who certifies my boom fast? It's John Alumu. Whenever there's a boom on the field, I just hear a voice in my ear. Oh, that's certified. Finally, a run. And 14 scrum half again with a score right in the middle. And a Icing on the cake, a cherry on top, a conversion underway. That's in that one. Fifty-five to nil. Thirty-five minutes into this game, one team on their game today. The other one very, very off color. Turns out to be a one-side contest. And Ram Maratha struggling to match the pace of Odisha Rugby Football Club. Cuts it in on the right. Another forward phase. Balls in the back. One thing you have to notice, it's always the best form of commit and pass by the team Odisha. They come so close to the player Anticipating a contact, the team loses line of sight and suddenly there's a pass. That's been working for them, winning their game. Textbook, 1-2-1. One, one. You don't have to be fancy, you don't have to do something different. Just stick to the basics, execute them properly. The game is yours. No fuss. Flag is up by Ryan and Mark calls in for a scrum, for a line out. And Maharashtra once again trying to push through using their strength and their entire team 
to gain ground. Successful till now. And that has really worked for them. Unfortunately, they have not been successful in converting that into a try. So you took the whole team there, the whole team's effort to push back the defense and then suddenly number nine decides to go alone. And that just messes everything up. And they're sent back. Looks like they're trying to look, use their weight once again with a monkey ball or pick and go. Pushing away Ram Marathas. This looks promising. Let's see what they have in mind. But we can see the Orissa defense keeping it really strong with not too much commitment. And luckily, this has worked for the Ram Marathas, getting a penalty in their favor. Trying some quick pass outs, hoping to find that gap, and once again stopped by the mighty Orissa defense. Again, the same pattern. Big whistle by Mark. Collapse in this previous one. Scrum time. Pushed away the Maharashtra's forward pack onto the attack now. Odisha Rugby Football Club. It's almost, it's almost like that period of defencing has really got into them and they've been itching to run through. And what a turnaround in this game. And that's another try. Bringing it all the way after the hard defense from their danger zone even before Maharashtra knew it. Five more points to Orissa Football Club. 60 for RFC and Ram nil. And measuring and setting herself for an another conversion kick. And just missing it by a few inches. Not successful. The score now, 60 Rams still at zero.
For the last few days, we've mostly been seeing a lot of power hitting from the forwards and mostly a forward-heavy game, which traditionally the 15s is known for. But we can see how beautifully Orissa is using both the weight and the speed in this game. And a line out, seeing one after a really long time in this game. Small in their own half. And Mark calls for a scrum. Turn over to Odisha. And a quick ball out from the scrum, moving it in and passing it out, creating some great moves, almost confusing the defense of Ram. Unfortunately, not working and a knock on from Orissa. Forty six minutes in sixty for Orisha Ram Maratra nil. No movement on the scoreboard yet. Orisha too strong till this minute of the game. And they're not backing down. And ref says play on. Knock on by Reds. Switch aside. A smart play. Quick hands. Cuts in. Risha's attack looking good. And that's a strike. That's another one. It's 65 for Odisha now. Oh, that's a big heap to clear. A tall, tall mountain to climb. A battle of Waterloo. Marathas, after such successful few days and successful matches, finally meet someone who has worked a little that bit harder than them. Scoreline which we have never seen before against Ram Marathas. And Odisha Rugby Football Club not backing down. We've seen some big hits. And tackles from the Ramarathas, but not able 
to run the pattern through uh, the defense of Orisha. Neha Pradeshi with the ball. Two big hits from her. Kudos to, to this woman. Just a few months after a postpartum surgery here on the field, again, a resilient rugby player, Neha Pradeshi. As Wabi's Barucha advancing bit by bit. This time around, coming back to the strategy, get all the players in, let's push them back towards the try line. Infringement calls for a penalty. Diving in the ruck. There goes Team Odisha. Kicks it out. Danger averted. Eight minutes left into this contest. 65. Holding on. And still wanting more. Odisha Rugby Football Club. As a forward pass, scrum down.
Ball is out from the scrum. Looking to switch it. Rock on wing it is. And a whistle from Mark. Ball still with Ram Marathas. Finally, bagging in the first five points by Ram Marathas. Steals it in just the right distance. Spread out wide, hands straight, place the ball in. Ram Marathas securing five points for their team. 56 minutes in. Four minutes left. What a comeback. They say you never lose a rugby match. You always run out of time. Adrenaline pumping back in the Ram Marathas. Oh, they realized who they are. And now time for some action. There goes Team Marathas with new energy, new zeal, intent to score as much as they can in this last three minutes. Bro, Baris is Hello, hello, Anna. Anna, Baris is Baris, Baris. Ball is turned over. Still in the field of play, this girl managed to get a ruck just, just nickels away from the sideline. Team Odisha again on the attack. One and a half minutes left. And this contest comes to an end. That's a knock on.
ball turns possessions to Ram Marathas. A minute left, and with the recharge, the reload from the Ram Marathas, they should turn this last minute into another point. ORFC 65 Ram 5 last 30 seconds of the game what a match this has been Horn has been blown. The ball is with Risha and they'll plan to kick it out for sure. But they want more. They're not satisfied. They want those five points back. But ball went to touch and with that Mark says let's finish this off. And Orisha Rugby Football Club moving to the finals. Hold it on. Another game. Another big, big game of the semis waiting for you. The Delhi Hurricanes RFC. The Delhi Hurricanes versus the Future Hope Harlequins. Next matchup, the semis. Bro, camera do. Yes, I can say something about the club. 